Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I recently bought a travel trailer so I can spend more time with my grandchildren in the lower 48. Travel restrictions have made travel very difficult, much more difficult for many of us to spend time with our family. For me to be able to get a small travel trailer that I can spend time with them helps me to enjoy them even more. This is very exciting for me. It's a 2020 Jayco J Flight SLX7. The unloaded vehicle weight is 3,250 pounds. It can carry 850 pounds of cargo and the gross vehicle weight rating of 4,100 pounds. It's 21 feet long. The exterior width is 7 feet 1 inch and interior it's 6 foot 1 inches tall. An unusual feature that I really like about this Jayco is that it has windows around in the front because there's a big bed inside. So when I'm staying at my daughter's house, I have a beautiful view out into the yard from the front of the trailer. And that's unusual. Most of them, they're solid there because of rocks and things. But I really like the front windows on this. It has a 10 foot retractable awning and look, it has speakers on either of the ends. And it's automatic when you roll it out, it has a light strip that lights up all along the outside. You can see it has the manufacturer's logo and then there are two vents along and that's where the refrigerator is on the inside. And that's where I think why there's the one little tube is that's for perhaps the overflow from uh, defrosting the refrigerator. Their little window up there is where the back of the, I think that's the back of the microwave. You can see the back is solid, but it has nice lights and a spare tire, including a cover. And then you can see down below where we have put out the stabilizing jacks. There's a vent from the back of the Dometic propane heater. And then there are two outlets on the outside so you could plug in anything that you wanted. It has Goodyear tires, which are really nice. And then if you look up under, it's all metal and steel under there. It's very well made and so if you do get, say, a blowout, it isn't going to just blow up through particle board into your trailer. You're more likely to be safe. It has one nice, great, big exterior storage unit. You can see it has two clips and then there's this nice little clip that holds the thing that holds the top open so you can get in there and access things. It goes all the way through but it doesn't have a door on the other side. The door is only on one side on this trailer. It actually has a little gutter along the side and there's a downspout there and the other day it was pouring rain and the water was shooting out of that downspout so it really does do the trick. It has diamond plated metal across the front which really protects the trailer from damage from say rocks or sticks. It has one propane tank and two batteries. It 
and you can see where it has the input for the water when you have the hookups and where the low spot drain is. I only have it hooked up right now to shore power. I don't have any of the sewer or the water hooked up at this time, but you can see that it has all of those facilities for when we get going out on the road. Daddy, stop! This Jayco has an air conditioner which is mounted on the side and then it has a full slide for the dinette area which is really nice. I don't have it extended right now but you can see where it is located. Here's an overview what the inside looks like. You can see there's a queen bed at the front where all the windows are. There's a slide out for the dinette. There's two bunk beds, a small bathroom with a tub shower, and a kitchen. This is so cool. I love it. I love it too, Granny. <laughs> Daddy says, let me add it.
we going camping? Teddy, are we going camping? <laughs> are we going camping? Yeah. This here from this here. So those are the features of the 2020 Jayco J Flight. I love it. I'm having a great time getting it all set up so I'll be ready to spend quality time with my grandchildren. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.